Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. We're in our previous episode, Our Adventures and their human friend, Alcaro, and uh, uh, coming into a cavern that had a Nothic and eight Magmen in it. So they fought them, and that's pretty much where we left off. So what would everyone like to do right now? We should go check out the camp. See if there's any stuff. Yep. See if there's any snacks. <laughs> Some snicks. My bear claws. Go and pick up my arrows. Uh, so, <laughs> so... Then I get my spear. Yeah. So I <laughs> got grape Kool-Aid. That's my feet. <laughs> so as you walk around this small encampment, there's not really much left. It, was, it just seems to have been like more of a guard post than anything else. And again, there's just like tights and like mites all around, and then there's an uh, a a passageway to the south of this cavern. Well, let's go down the passageway, guys. Why not, eh? Why not, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so Alcaro will lead you guys past this cavern, and he says, "I think that this." Up, up in front of us is where the people are being kept captive by the Shardana and possibly by the devils and demons too, it seems like. Right through this entryway? Uh, like a, a bit of ways through this entryway, but I don't think there's any other uh, passageways th- to branch off of. Do you know what we should be expecting? I honestly don't know. Surprise! <laughs> and I'll jump up behind him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. I would say there's most likely some kind of demon or devil there that would be in charge, as well as maybe a few Shardana. Well, we already know who's in charge. It's Artemis. He yeah, he may be there. I, I don't know who that is, but he might be there. Hey, Elvindel knows where he is. I do, actually. Yeah, so you don't actually get the sense that... Uh, Artemis is in this cave up front. Okay. You still feel the sense of him around uh, Mall or maybe one of the towns or cities nearby there. Alright. I just, uh, I take a second and I, like, just, like, close my eyes and I, uh, I, like, try to sense where he is and then I just say to the guys, I'm like, he's not down here, he's still around Mall somewhere. Just communing with your inner murder hobo? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Maul. He's really taking his time up by Maul, eh? He's been there a while. I am glad he's there, not here. Oh, me too. I'm just worried about Maul. <laughs> they must not have a good time. Well, shall we? Ooh, ooh. ready to go save some people. Aye! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's do it! Alright, then. I suppose. Okay. And I'm down uh, for will, like, draw his sword out ready for yeah. anything. That happens. Yeah, I will. Uh... And he lead the way. So you go past a couple uh, curves around the passage, and then you start to hear the noise of like some shouting, some crying, and like the sound of picks axes hitting the ground and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you catch the smell of of death and like unwashed bodies and stuff like that, and of decay, as well as lots of dust coming from. In front of you. Well, while well, we're on our way, does anyone have any sort of game plan when we come across what we don't know what we're going to come across? Kill everything that moves. Well, that I'm not sure is a good plan. See, those people were trying to save Lazarus. Yeah, and they move. <laughs> they do move. Kill everything that moves that looks dangerous. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Well, anyone else? Ah, uh, we can sneak in. Just, uh, I'm assuming they're all locked up. In, well, we actually don't know. But if they are <laughs> locked up in cages, just sneak in, unlock the cages, leave like nothing happened. Uh, Probably Sammy. best to get in there and see what it looks like. Get, yeah. Do some reconnaissance. That is a good plan. Then we can decide if we should kill them all. You, you, everyone else hears the sound of the pickaxes, right? You guys do, yeah. I can put the idea together that maybe they're using them for papers. Well, something. Maybe there's something just bigger going on. for that diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, you do hear a loud boom, too, coming from there. It seems like maybe they're trying to 
find something? I don't know. There seems to be a bit of a bear. Or maybe they have just been invading to find new slaves because they're a really profitable mining company down here, but they've run out of employees. Oh, I'm saying this could be bigger than you think. Like, we get there, we go to try to save them. They're like, well, we don't need to save them. We're paying them wage. I brought my family down here. It's a good life. We make good lunches. Yeah, it's delicious. Have you tried their beef stew? <laughs> we have an employee, employee barbecue every Saturday <laughs> afternoon. The point is the we have a union there. going. You should have been there for the baseball tournament. That was crazy fun. <laughs> We're starting a union. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that went too far. Uh, so you're just like, what, what's the game plan then? Well, I can scout ahead. I will sure. join him. I scout on. Well. we'll just all go and recall. <laughs> Well, I'll go, but Lazarus can scout ahead, because he's stealthy. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm stealthy. Uh, Last couple of rolls have proven otherwise. Five plus six and stealth. You're the reason we fought all those magmen. Yeah. You couldn't steal a sword from a very old man. <laughs> hey, can you guys give me I'm a going! Sec? Can you guys give me a sec? Uh, yeah. My audio said to fuck off. Okay, so uh, what's the game plan here? Uh, we'll sneak in, scout ahead discern the situation, and then react. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so Lazarus, you're going in first? Yeah. Okay, so as you sneak through here, uh, just do a stealth check, please. Fail the first one. Yeah, you can do it with the damage, because there's a lot of noise going on. 15 and a 17. Yeah, you're able to sneak through pretty easily, and uh, as you come to the entrance of this cavern, you see that it's about a 200 foot by 200 foot cavern. And there seems to be three layers. So the first layer, there's kind of people, like, people in chains and stuff like that, hauling dirt for, dirt and rocks from one place to another, or passing down, like, dynamite or stuff. Okay. To the next section down. And then that next section goes down another ten feet, and then people there are just digging on that section and also passing stuff down to the next section. The next section goes down is about another 50 feet down and again people are just all chained up and are just being used as slave labor to dig down deeper okay do i see any guards roll a perception check please that's an eight you see one chardana one barrel girl and one abyssal uh wretch which may or may not look like this Okay. Not sure if that's for the Rudrick kin or that. That looks pretty abyssal. Uh, do I see any exits from this place? Uh, you see two two passageways, both on the west side of this cavern, one to the northwest, one to the southwest. Okay. And it's literally just a hole in the ground. There's like nothing else. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with what I've found, so I'll stealthily head back. Okay, and you also did notice there were probably about 2,000 people in this room being used for slave labor. labor. Okay. So I'll head back to the group, relay what I found, and we'll formulate a plan. Spicy. So how many guards were there? I only seen three. One Shardana, the Abyssal Wretch, and then... And one Barrel Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, so that is not, like, that's, like, counts for, like, seven dudes, really. <laughs> it's like Donkey Kong. <laughs> D -D Donkey Kong! <laughs> it, it seems like they're trying to dig for something. They're looking for something. I don't know why we would want to dig down here. I mean, the further deep you go, you just end up hitting the eternal damnation and evil demons. Paul Carl... Al Al Carl Al Car Caro Al Caro will be like maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to get something down there to come up here. I heard of bad news coming from one of the other caverns in the other direction in the depths. So the the, the Asimo did say something about we're not ready for something lower. Yeah, with demons and devils down, stirring down further. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Well, we definitely don't want them digging that up. But we also have another problem. Of how the hell are we going to get 2,000 people out of that hole? Kill the god. Let him run away. Then how are we going to get... Well, Carl will be like, there is a demon town that they would have to go through to get out this way. 
So maybe we can... We can just roll 2,000 stealth checks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, villager number 34 rolled a nat 1. <laughs> villager 976 also failed his save. <laughs> you said something about the Sardana using transportation magic. We don't possess any transportation magic like that. But that is how they... Apparently, that's how they find a lot of people here. Do you think we could capture one and like force him to use it to get out or something? Like it that? would depend if he knew the magic himself. It's it could very well just be a, a spell that the leader Artemis knows, <laughs> or it could be a tool idea. they possess. But I would assume Artemis would carry that with him. Well, it's worth a shot. Either way, we should probably leave one of them alive. Is what you're saying? <laughs> I'd be no. for the best. Fern's pretty good at charming people, so. You're pretty good at not killing people, so I think we're on the right track here. (laughs) You're superb at not doing what you set out to do. I kill as good as you paint. (laughs) Fuck you, I rolled like an 18 on that last painting. Well, so, uh, did you see any Shodana over there? I've seen one. There was most likely more. Having only three guards watch over 2,000 people is kind of sparse. Yeah. Well, they do have a giant monkey. <laughs> that helps a lot. <laughs> well, all right, so our plan is so far we should capture one of these Shodana and see if they know teleportation magic. Why don't well, we uh, play it safe for now? Why don't we just sneak in, get the one Shodana, drag him out, and interrogate him here before we make any more plans? That way we can learn what we need to know about teleportation magic, and we can learn about any other uh, guards or Shodana in the facility. Mm-hmm. Do you think that we'd be seen, though? I don't know, Arendelle and I snuck into the King's Castle, no problem. So If we're seen, we can just do plan B and kill everything that moves. Kill, kill the other guards. Sure. Sure, I think that could work, hopefully. Right, well, what if we, what if we act like we're one of the slaves, maybe dirty ourselves up, look a little rattered, grab a pickaxe or something. Maybe that'll help us at least get in without being seen immediately. Could help. How do we... we, You think slaves, for them, would just walk in and be like, Hey, time to check in, boss! And then, yeah. (laughs) We We need someone to pretend to be a Shardana as of escorting prisoners in. They were all shackled. We would not be. I could make some manacles. Just give me an hour. I literally need an hour, but I could do it. For one pair. (laughs) For a pair of manacles, yeah. Yeah, they only one pair. One pair, yeah. <laughs> well, then we technically would only need one person to go in to get that show down. I'll put on the shackles and I... then Lazarus can be the guy guard bring me in. Thank you. I could pretend to do that. He is the undead one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. He would fit in a lot better than I would. He would be the best fit for being any sort of god down here. Okay, I mean, tie so me up. He like kind of looks like that. Totally. <laughs> uh, gross. <laughs> And I mean, we'll bounce if there's any sign of trouble. So it's agreed, then. We will make Blaze look like the prisoner, and Aaron, uh, Maul, sorry, <laughs> will be the, the, the guard. Sure. Well, sure. To capture this showdown and bring him to us, in which I could charm him and we could get the information without making him scream or anything. Well, yeah, sounds good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So you're just heading back to the other cavern again just to make the manacles? Yeah, we should yeah. find a place that like, we won't get attacked or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you'd be able to just at the place at the last cavern. Okay. So you use an hour to do that. Yeah, that's my artisan's blessing, and it takes up the cost of the, the manacles, which is like two gold, I think. Okay. So, yeah, then I have manacles. Okay. Uh, so now you have manacles. And... That would count as a short rest, probably, for the rest of them, right? Yeah, I think so. And then during the short rest, I'll be reading that book on human history. Okay. Could I also Um, gain the benefits of a short rest? No, because you were working the entire time. Can we just hang out for another half an hour? (laughs) Uh, That means I get my key back, so that's nice. Wait, Sean, we use hit dice on a short rest, right? Yeah, Yeah, so I have 48. I need a lot of health. I I was at 11. Oh, that's perfect. Full health again. Might have head die though. Okay, well, I will slip on the manacles and I will rub dirt all over myself to make myself look kind of like beat up, you know, like I've been taken captured. And then I'll, uh, I'll, I will turn to Aylor down and be like, take me away. <laughs> Ready to serve me some time, boss. 
Oh, so are you trying to get in while no one's looking or around? Mm, why not? I mean, the less risk, the better. Yeah, okay. I think so. First show Dan and we find, we knock him out, drag him outside. <clears throat> uh, so just roll, both of you roll a performance check as you're doing this. 13. Okay. Not 20. Oh. Nice. So you are looking like exactly like a prisoner right now. Nice. I got like a, a fake limp. Like yeah. I've been just like. And roll perception checks, please, too. 12. 9. Okay, uh, you see about five other of the uh, Bissell wretches. Five more? Yeah, okay. they're all like really spread out there. Alright, there's. Okay, do I see any Shardana? Uh, you see two Shardana in this room. Or actually three. You see one at the pass right to the northwest, one at the pass right to the southwest, and one just wandering around. Yeah, uh, which passageway are we at? Okay, so this is the map. You guys are entering here. Fordana is here, Fordana is here, and Fordana would be probably around here. Okay, and that's just a giant pit in the middle, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, this place loves their pits. <laughs> All right. Um, probably could head to the closest one. We could just wait by the entrance for the one dude to walk around. That's true. He's patrolling, technically, so if we just, like, lunge out, grab him, drag him in. Be like, you weren't even there. Though those two Shardana, would they see us if we did that, you think? Because that pit. Is that so large enough that they wouldn't see us across? Or? Uh, they could see across. Okay. Maybe are... I should uh, fake an escape and have one of them chase after you. And you'd be like, come help me get this one. And then you drag the one down the hall. That's okay. just what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I will elbow Arendelle in the <laughs> gut like really hard and then headbutt him in the chest. Are you waiting for the Shardana now to be closer? Oh, probably. I get. Oh, yeah, I probably. Yeah. <laughs> I would like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll. I guess we'll just wait, and then as soon as he gets a little closer, I'll do it. Why don't you pretend to hit me? No, actually hit him. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> raise it up, and I'm like, "You son of a bitch!" And I'll hit him <laughs> in the chest, and then like, like hit him in the face with my face, and then I'll hiss, wow. and I'll run down. I like waddle down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I uh, rush up to my feet, and I pull out my long sword. And I'm like, "Hey, you!" Come give me some help! And I, like, I run and I chase him. Okay, uh, he will follow you because he does not like prisoners. <laughs> prisoners escape me. He doesn't like prisoners. Uh, as soon as no like, prisoners. I run down, like, as soon as we get out of his sight, yeah. I'm going to, like, stop and then wait around the corner. And so, like, okay. well, well, we should lead him for the Come, lead come right down. to us. Come okay. to us. And then we can ambush him. Never mind. I'm going to run all the way down. I okay. should have set I'll a be... trap. And, like, I'll be stealthily well, be in the shadows. Down. Okay. As much really as I can. Well, you wouldn't because we didn't actually plan this part. Well, you said you're going to bring him back to us, right? Yeah, but you wouldn't just be like, you would just be waiting at the camp, I thought. Because well, originally the plan was we were going to knock him out here and just drag him. You don't know we're running That's and having him chase That's a terrible plan. But okay. That, that was the plan. <laughs> Pretty sure we would still be like on guard. Yeah. Because okay, yeah. I'm just going to be sitting around the campfire, <laughs> warming my hands. <laughs> Polishing my armor, yeah. taking a short rest, I'm ready to cast spells. Like popping back a mint, <laughs> yeah. just living yeah. life. Right, okay, but no. Yeah, so he is chasing you, and he's slowly, very slowly catching up. But oh, you can't catch me, fucker! <laughs> you you would be going at like half your speed because you're in mantles. Yeah, so oh, you mad? You're actually catching up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. Did you actually put the manacles on yourself? <laughs> yeah. You should have just pretended, you idiot. I rolled a nat 20 performance and the real actor delves deep into his role. <laughs> method acting. <laughs> this is going to leave some chafe marks, fuck. <laughs> yeah, see, so you, you get about another, like, 45, 50 feet through the passageway into, and then he's able to catch up to you. And by then, you guys are in sight. Does he like? Does he like tackle uh, Blaze, or does he like? Yeah. Uh, at this point, he's ran past you because you were running really slow for some reason. You couldn't catch up to him somehow. I'm assuming. <laughs> Just for some yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> the short down is like this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> I hate prisoners. <laughs> and he'll just full on just tackle you. <laughs> Are they within 60 feet of us? Yeah. Can I make a uh, grappling? I know they're on the ground. Uh, they would be a... Chrome? Yeah. Can I make like, a grapple? Uh, do eight x three saving throw. Over the head with the one. Uh, 23. Or sorry, 20... 25. Got a nat 20. 
Nice. Yeah, but see, so I rolled like, a 25. <laughs> <laughs> and you want me to check what this throwdown is? Dexes. Yeah, but Gage, please. <laughs> yeah, he tackles you and you're on the ground. Yeah, that that just an instant. Uh, I bite him. <laughs> I bite him. How far is he away? Sure you I'm, I'm, I'm just going to hit him, him in the back of the oh, head. With I, I cast whole person on the shirt. Okay. Oh. Uh, Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom? Okay. Uh, 15. You failed. Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> <laughs> this plan has gone on. Going off without a hit. Okay. So far. All right. Good job. So Get him off. We have six seconds to put those manacles on him. <laughs> Who has the key? How far is he away <laughs> from no me? Uh, he'd probably be around 20 feet away from you. <laughs> what do you mean uh, there's no okay. key? <laughs> uh, what kind of save? Wisdom. Wisdom. You failed. Wow. Yes. All right. No manacles needed. Okay. And I'm going to cast How long does that last? Spell. Okay. okay. So it's two hours long. And okay. then... I cast Zone of Truth, <laughs> so he can't lie to us. <laughs> or, Poor guy's you know, been denied. Whole person, stand deep, around. Uh, concentrated spell. Whole person is. So I believe that whole person is is concentration. So he's not held anymore, but okay. he's charmed. So okay. He's um, and he has to make a charisma saving throw. He succeeded. And is it he has to remake the saving throw on each of his turns, or is it just like once? The zone of truth. Once. Yeah, of truth. If he fails, it's, it's just every, once. Isn't it every time he re-enters the circle, he has to be doing it? No, oh, if he yeah. fails at the start of each turn, you can make another Constitution saving throw. Okay. But if you uh, he succeeded anyway, though. Okay. Well, I know that he succeeded, so I know that he can still lie to us. Yeah. I don't think you would know. I wouldn't know. I don't think you do. I yeah, it says you know whether a creature succeeds or fails to save it through. Okay, okay. All right, well, it has zero effect whatsoever then. That's cool. I mean, we can go with the old... Uh, I feel like he wouldn't lie to us anyways because he's charmed. He's charmed. charmed. Yeah, okay. He's charmed. Just being extra Plus, extra we can sure. use the old-fashioned way where we make him not lie by threatening his life. Well, probably one of those ride-or-die kind of guys. You know, died before he speaks. Anyway, what do you want to ask him? How many are you? Don't shake him. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Do not do that. Okay, don't shake him. But don't like, harm him. How many Chardin are in the building? Uh, he says in kind of a broken common tongue, uh, he says there are just six of them. Where's the rest of you? Most likely capturing more cities and more people. Okay. What do you want the people for? Uh, we... Our leader, Artemis, has a deal with someone, or something, Who's that wants them. I honestly don't know. He's just made it. There's a deal with a demon or something. Name drop, deal with demons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and nice. they want the slave lab- labor to dig down deep for something, or to unleash something. And you don't know anything about it? Not really, no. I'm just here for the ride. Do you know how to use... <laughs> ride or die! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... Do you know how to use teleportation magic? I've got an item that Artemis gave to me that can work it. What do you need to use it? Just the item itself. Can I have it? it uh, no. sure. It's it's in my tent, in the... Like, behind the... Uh, prison cells. Shit. Oh, hold on. No, no, you, he can grab right. that. The spell oh, won't true. disappear. Yeah. Can you go and grab that item and bring it back to us? For you, my buddy. Anything. <laughs> Thank you. What's your <laughs> name? I appreciate it. My name is uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> wow, what an exotic name. <laughs> <laughs> get him a break. All right, well, Jonathan, <laughs> no, do go and get that item. Bring it back to us as quick as you can. Of course, my friend. There's no, like, ranged thing on Chime Person, is there? No, he's just trying okay. for two hours. It's range for me to cast it, but it isn't. Okay. I don't know if he goes too far. Wow, this has gone really well. You'll say, uh, can I get these man pelts off me then? Before we I didn't go put grab them on. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, we no, we put them. You can get them off ways. me, though. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this and, is my life now. <laughs> and he'll go and uh, go to the tent and takes about ten, like, maybe, like, Five minutes and he's back. Well, that was quick. Nice. Did anybody ask questions? Uh, one of the Fredana gave me a weird look, but that's all. Um, did I told him it was all cool. You followed him. Oh, I didn't check. <laughs> and he looks behind him. Like, no, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> it's okay, Jonathan, don't worry. 
All right, where's, where's, so he, where's he, gives that, he gives that to me? Yeah. Sick. 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 You cannot, be, <laughs> you cannot be trusted with magical <laughs> items. He's uh, going to transport directly to Maul. Maul, oh, I don't think yeah. this is best for you. Okay, you don't get this. I don't <laughs> this once before. No, I took it. I already took it. Can I? Can I? I yeah, not negotiating with you, you not to do can what I you're going to do. He tells you that this is mostly just to get from the uh, depths. Uh, well, this is to get from the depths to wherever the surface world. Uh, we need to be, or wherever we're attacking the surface world. So, how does it work? You have to use it in a certain spot, or uh, you can use it anywhere, but it'll only teleport to certain spots. Okay. How many people can <laughs> it teleport? <laughs> Uh, as long as the portal's open, as many as you want. Okay. Um, That's how, uh, we got people to the depths in the first place. Do you know, how do you, how do you activate it? Does it take a ritual or instantaneous? Or? A sacrifice, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just press the, uh, button on it. <laughs> Smart devices these days. Anticlimatic. Uh, uh, cool. How long does the, the portal last? Uh, it normally lasts for about 10 minutes, and then if you click again, it just lasts for longer. It's for longer, so we... Man, we'll, technology we'll these days. Well, um, yeah. um... How many uses do we get out of it? Oh, as many as you need. Holy shit, it's this thing is useful. Magical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that. No, wait, 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 no. No, 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 no. You said it, you said it. <laughs> get rid God. Because I haven't read Con before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can only be used once. <laughs> and then it explodes oh, and everybody forgot, uses it dies. I forgot to charge it, so it's only not one use uh, this, this one just takes uh, takes people from the depths out of the depths. Okay. That's amazing. This We can just teleport in and out a hundred thousand times. No, only out of yeah, the depths. Out of the depths. You can't get back in. Oh, so it's yeah. an escape rope. Yeah. So essentially, we have to get all 2,000 people through yeah. this portal yeah. while fending off any demons, and then we have to get through, or else we're fucked. Do you, the people that are shackled, are they like chained together, chained to the ground? Like oh, yeah. Uh, most of them are chained together in like chains of like 10 or so people. Chains yeah. are able <laughs> to Jonas. move freely, though, around the area. Moderately, yeah. Okay. So there's no restriction of how far they can go. They can go to the outside of the pit if they want to. Some of them are a bit injured and a bit exhausted from their work here. Well, that's fine. We can get other people to carry the, the, the injured people. Um, how many guards are there? Uh, there are six other Fardana here, about ten Rodrikin, and then there's a Burl Garla. Did I pronounce that right? Burl Garla. Do you have any weaknesses? Bananas. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're a trash person. <laughs> this is just so quiet. Uh, I don't believe so. B A N A S. I do know the abyssal wretches are immune to poison and resistant, resistant to cold, fire, and lightning. Oh, uh, Bulgaras are resistant to cold, fire, and lightning and immune to poison. So but uh, none of them are resistant to budging or slashing, because that's my two go-to things there. Uh, no, they are not. Excellent. We're going to have a great time, guys. Oh. You know what? I'm <laughs> really glad I met you guys. It's hey, like we're, we're bonding here. <laughs> I, know, I love you, Jonathan. You're such a I nice guy. Yes, it's like almost like we've known each other for years. We have. We <laughs> sit have. down, sit down, sit by the fire, warm your feet. Actually, yeah, if I'm safe for the spell, it'll uh, still be our friend. <laughs> You, know, you deserve a break, Jonathan. Come on, sit down. Uh, and I'm going to try and pick my lock, actually, with my claw. Well, okay. I, I, I'd have made a key with it, right? Like, yeah. I didn't specify. Oh, you said you didn't. Yeah, because I wanted to mess with you, but I'll just unlock it. Okay, thanks. Oh, man, prison life does not suit me, and I'll just toss the shackles into the fire. Right, Why? Um, Those are perfectly... We get to Those are handcrafted here. manacles. Okay, I reach into the okay. fire and pick them out. Sorry, I, I didn't think you wanted them anymore. I spent two gold making car. those. Yes. Might be easy. Yes. Do you know of any sort of plan we could maybe devise to get two dozen people through this portal? Or anyone here, really? Really, uh, we have to get rid of the guards first. Yeah, he's right. I think we probably have to get rid of the guards. What, Jonathan, well, <laughs> maybe not all of them, but we definitely have to get rid of the gorilla. At least most. Uh, if we can get rid of a few of them, and then if we can... Uh, Unlock everyone's locks on their manacles and stuff. You might be able to just 
completely overcome the enemies, just huge pure numbers. Do you have a key for the manacles? I do not. How long to craft a skeleton key? <laughs> I don't know. How long would it take for me to make a key? Well, you don't be able to. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you wouldn't be able to because you don't know the yeah. exact like lock. Yeah. A key to unlock any lock. That sounds like something a magical item that you can't just craft with two pieces <laughs> of gold and a yeah. stick. <laughs> <laughs> you could do like you could use use thieves tools to unlock them. Jonathan. Yes. Um, yes, my friend. Uh, do you know anything that would cause the the, 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 the guards in there, the, the watch people, to immediately go somewhere else, uh, some sort of say, if there was an emergency? Do you know anything about that? Where's your muster point? Something that would get them to yeah, run out of there real quick. Like a fire alarm. Uh, probably if there was like an explosion or something near their tent, near the big like tent camp, cabin oh. and stuff. Yes, my friend. <laughs> I have. A... I need you to wear this bomb. <laughs> 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 and then you say, "You'll be rewarded greatly for your efforts." Specifically said, <laughs> "No, no, Zach, no." <laughs> Do you have any? I'm, there's explosives in that pit. Right? Yes, there are. Yeah, that's, <laughs> how, it, get that's how it gets I deeper all the time. I need you to get your hands on a crate of those. Okay. And I need you to go to those tents, place them down. And light one off. When it's within the crate, within the middle of the tents. Okay, and sure thing. And then scream, so it sounds convincing. And afterward, <laughs> yes, you gotta make a lot of noise. You gotta let them know that there's a bomb. Okay. Once you light it and throw it in there, you scream and let them know there's a bomb. Alright? Okay, sounds good, you buddy. You'll be rewarded, I promise you. I'm trying not to You'll be seen. Be loved, and yes, be inconspicuous. Of course, of course. Sounds good. Tell Dude. no one oh, that we were here. <laughs> Tell no one we were here. Hey, I'll go. Jonathan, yes. do you have any kids? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I actually have two kids. What? A, beaut- a beautiful <laughs> wife. Thanks for asking. Jonathan, go. <laughs> they're going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss them already. <laughs> Until you come back, that is. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Jonathan, you're not gonna die. The most important thing is you have to stay there and keep screaming, okay? <laughs> of course, my Even friend. Even if you get set on fire, don't leave. <laughs> Go. Go, Jonathan. Yeah. It'll be the man you only want. Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. Just running at full speed of the cavern. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> what have you done, actually? <laughs> <laughs> not weird. We have motivated this man. <laughs> All right, everybody else, you get an inspiration dice. <laughs> oh wow! Yes. Uh, damn, son. <laughs> damn. Uh, and then, are you guys just preparing to like get near the entrance to the cavern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Just lie and wait until we hear it. Then, about five minutes later, you hear a huge bang as <laughs> well as a scream for about. Five seconds, then it just abruptly ends. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Blaze drops his knees. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now's our time, guys. We gotta get these people out of here while the gods are distracted. We have to save him! <laughs> and that's where we'll end this episode of Nat 20. God damn it! <laughs>